gonna be on TV, y'all. You gonna be on TV. It's gonna be um MTV. What time? I have no idea yet. You gonna be on TV. You stay up here. Huh? You, you gonna be on you TV. You gonna be on TV. I don't stay. TV. Well, I, I don't stay here no more. I used That's to stay right down the block. Eminem, because he's, he's Dresden. Oh. Right over there. Why Just like. Yeah, this sh be hot. He going back to his old neighborhood? Oh, wow. Now, now that you've seen Cancun in LA, I mean, wouldn't you rather be someplace warmer or do you like relate to the, uh, the frigid? I'm just used to this. I'm used to it. It's like. Not that it's like fun. You know, you just get used to something. Yeah. And you just get settled in and you just want to stay. So you're a Detroiter yeah. for life, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, I'm a Detroiter for life. Detroit for life. So he's still living in Detroit. Where are we Detroit? headed for? I'm, uh, we're gonna go to uh, my old house and uh, I'm gonna knock on the door and uh, see if I can get in because I left something in my room. Uh, okay. What part of town is this? Is this in. Uh... This will be the east side of Detroit. Alright. I wanna see his old house. Do you have a lot of warm yeah. memories about growing up there? Up uh, yeah. This video. <clears throat> a lot of fun video. stuff. Now, if one of your fans was coming to Detroit, where, where was a, where's a place they could go at nights and maybe, maybe bump into you? Do you go out a lot? Um. I would say like St. Andrews Hall on Friday night. Mm -hmm. St. Andrews Hall. What's or, up? Uh, Yo, Paul, what's the other places that we used to, I used did to go to the um, Did you sub or did somebody give you a sub? You're probably pretty well accepted in these places by now, right? I imagine. Somebody gifted yeah, you a sub. Yeah. Was it a long uphill battle? To, yeah, it was when I first started out, when I first showed up, you know, when I first started grabbing mics in, in little clubs and, and stuff like that. definitely What makes, like what makes people from time. Detroit different than people from other cities, would you say? Is there a certain kind of person that lives in Detroit? What makes people from Detroit different? Yeah. It, it, Just because, like, in our city, we don't, there's not a whole lot to do. So people are like, there's not a lot here, you know? There's just, we're just starting to get things here. So it's like, you know, there's a lot of tension in the city. This, I, I used to, like to sell fast my tapes, forward. my local oh, tapes I'm up stuck. in that store I'm right stuck. there, I'm Golden Jet Records right there. I'm stuck. There you go. If you don't hurry up and get to this house and stop playing, there you go, there you go. This was in 1999. This video, MTV situation was in 1999. So. Let's see if anybody's here. If they're not, we'll try the back. We'll break in. It's not we'll just uh, Who's living in ourselves. Eminem's old house? Who not is it? Me, but yeah. you, uh... Excuse me. That's a big flex, though. That's a big flex. Huh? I live in Eminem's old house. What the hell? You have what? Oh, that's all right. What if we take a look in the backyard? Can we do that? Damn, how much you ain't right, clean the house? You. Oh, because oh, the camera people <clears throat> coming in. Uh, do you remember the backyard? Yeah. Girl, you better open you up like that door. You like swings and stuff in the backyard. Yeah, we used what to have this one little swing. It uh -huh. was right there. You better super speed then this clean is where up the, the house. Used to be where all these trees are. Uh -huh. Shit, I'll be picking up whatever, whatever going on. Shit, sure, I get a bag and speed Tasmanian devil run through that house. <laughs> what in the world? This used to be like a little thing for they the They didn't want to be put on best. I mean, everybody a little messy, empty. like. Yeah. Can't be that. Is your family pretty happy I mean, when they're living here? Hopefully not. Relatively speaking. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's just me, my mom, and my little brother. Yeah. So you write all your stuff down beforehand, right? I mean, the writing is really important, obviously. You're not just freestyling all of this. No, no, no. Uh, it, much thought mm -hmm. goes into everything that I do. Mm -hmm. Much thought, you know. I try to make. I wonder how many years did he dye like his every, hair every blonde? Line that I write and every before he's like making sure that everything is. I'm is, done. You know, consistent. A lot of rappers don't want to. But no one wants the world. You right, you right, you right. Don't want right. to burn bridges. Yeah. Like I don't want right. to say this about this person because what if I meet them or whatever, whatever. You know, I don't think like that. I think like, I think like if there's a reason for me to burn a bridge, then I obviously don't want to speak to you ever in my life. <laughs> you know. So it's like, if I, if I feel a certain way, then I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna express it. And yeah. I think a lot of people hold back, and I just don't hold back. There's a school right down here, mm -hmm. it's called Osborne. I didn't go to Osborne, it was, it's like two blocks, three blocks, about two blocks down. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to Osborne, but I used to go, I used to walk to this other school, 
um, it was like a mile and a half, close to two miles away. Because when we came up from Kansas City, away. we used to stay with my grandmother. My grandmother used to live on the other side of Eight Mile, mm -hmm. Warren. So I started going to that school and like, the, it was the longest I'd ever went to a school. It was like six months. So I started making friends and it was real hard for me to make friends when I was, when I was little, you know. Mm -hmm. just, I mean, we changed schools a lot. Like, hmm. we would change school. The longest I had been in a school was like three months. What? Just growing up. But as soon as as soon as we had moved up back from um, Kansas City, I believe I was like 11. Oh wow! Um, we had moved in with my grandmother, and I started going to that school down there. I might have been 12. I got tired of getting up every morning, and my mother would drive me to school. I would have to walk to school. So, you know, like hmm. in the winter time, it was cold. You know, so I just would skip school. Just didn't want to go. And then I figured, I like, I just want to rap. I just want to rap. Yeah. So then, one of my friends, one of my longtime friends, um, Deshaun Holtman, um, he's a rapper too. His name's Proof. Mm -hmm. Proof. Um, he used to take me up in the lunchroom at Osborne, and like, the kids would just like bet money and stuff. Like, we used to battle. I used to battle like a lot of kids in the school, a lot of other rappers and stuff. Mm -hmm. I used to rap really fast, and I don't think I was really saying much. But I was just <laughs> rapping really fast, you know. But because I was rapping fast, everybody just, I used to win every battle, yeah, I know. like, you know, because it was just, I just rap. Yeah, because what you like, blah, 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 blah. And Other kids were rhyming slow, so, <laughs> you know, I figured the faster you rap, the better you was. Mm -hmm. So life is better now, right? Yeah, life is definitely better. What do you better mean, now. life is better now, I, right? I, of course, really life is better. Look where you at the house he used to live at. What the fuck, you think he's still living next door to that? Oh, that, that so life is better now, right? I mean, he, unless he mean like overall, like mentally and stuff. I don't know. Unless he means mentally, because of course life is better. Um, anyway.